Hello, I'm Max of the Zephyr Rose, and today I'll be playing Undertale. I'm, I'm really worried about this. I don't know how this is going to go. I, I want to do this, but I'm worried that no one's going to watch it. So, let's start with naming the fallen human. Hmm, it's a good name. Hmm. Hmm. Gotta think of something. Something weird. Like, I'm gonna call it Karen. Oh. A. R. E. N. Kareem. Karen. Yeah. That's fine. That's as much as, well, I'm going to spell it. Alright. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's menu. Okay. Spooky. Hey. I'm Flowey the Flower. Aww. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I did start it up to see if it worked well. I got to this and then I quit. So, okay. Move nice and smooth. The soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. That sounds what LV stands for. It stands for love, of course. Aww. You want some, well, if you're offering some love, I mean, I don't think I could deny. Oh, a cute wink. And your love is shared through. Little white, friendliness pellets. Okay, there's a small area. You pretty? Move around, get as many as you can. Uh, uh, are, are you, are you dick? You a monster? <laughs> You know, shame on me for trusting you. I've seen the internet. It's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh, um, big bull die! Woo! Ah! <laughs> okay. That's not how flowers work, but sure. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Torio, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Sweet. Nice. Strong, I'm guessing? I mean, if the flower could take all my health out in one hit. Oh, I can't walk in the leaves? The shadow of the ruins looms above you, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Save. Yeah. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Button, button, button. Alright, buttons. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve <laughs> One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. So I can't screw it up just by pressing random buttons? To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones you need to flip them, huh? I, I play Zelda. Press Z to read, Z. I press B to read signs. And you're all sweaty. Stay on the path. Oh. Oh. Um. My bad. I, I won't stray off the path this time, I swear. Okay. So, this, I'm guessing, is the switch you want me to press. <laughs> what happens if I. 
No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. Well, I must be a stupid little child then. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Okay. As a, hu as a human living under the other ground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. Ooh, fighting. I'm a child. That must be dangerous. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Oh, Hey, dummy. Oh, um, okay. So, strike up conversation. Dumb. Attack. Defense. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Okay, well. Hi, my name is Karen, and I'm here to talk to you. Aw. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hurt. Hey, but Toriel's happy with me. Yes! Happy about that. Ah, very good. You are very good. Alright. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. No, come back. Don't leave me. Frog it to text. <laughs> a frog it. What are you? Do you have a face up there, but are you sitting on something? Okay. Compliment threats. Check. Frog it. Attack four, defense five. Life is difficult for this enemy. Okay. I win! Yes! Oh, this is great. I'm so happy I get to win. This looks dangerous. Are you sure I can handle this? Okay. God, this is... Why is this place so dangerous? Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for you now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. Uh-huh. I'm a child. It's the truth. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like... I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Stressful. Stay on the path. Don't be horrible. Playing with the D-pad right now doesn't doesn't feel comfortable. Back to the stick. Alright. Yay. Yay! What do you mean? I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I can solve this puzzle. It's dangerous. Are you just hiding behind the pillar waiting for me? Okay. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. I saw you come out from there, so... Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business. You must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Cell phones?! Really?! Great! Great! Something I don't actually have. In... Here. If you need anything, if you have a need for anything, just call. Be good. All right. All right. Let's see stats. Stick in a bandage. I don't. And I have items. And say hello about yourself. Call her mom or flirt. Let's call and say hello. You know, that's the proper thing to do. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello. Well then. Hello! I hope that suffices. Hee <laughs> oh. hee. Alright, uh, let's ask about yourself. Dialing, this is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I am afraid there's not much to say. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. Call her mom. And flirt. 
I'm a child, so I'm probably not good at flirting. Dialing. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy to call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Alright, so, canon. Toriel is now mom. <gasps> it's that jerk frog it. Hello? This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I've yet to explain. It would be dangerous to solve them by yourself. Be good, alright? Yeah. <gasps> Another frog it. Okay, let's compliment him. Didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Blushes deeply. Ribbit. Oh, I'm sorry. Ribbit. Oh. Ah. Oh no. How do I screw everything up? Seems reluctant to fight me. Yellow. Um. Yellow is. Okay. Sparing. All right. Two gold. Hello. Did you just attack me? Ribbit. Ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Should have talked to you first. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. So much determination. Leaf pile. It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Yeah, sure. Press C to open the menu. Alright, you good little kid. Take only one. Save again. Creak playing creakily. I, I never really got to enjoy doing that in fall. Winsome approached meekly. Alright. Oh, I can mercy you right away. Can I console you? Halfway through your first word, Wimsom bursts into tears and runs away. No, no! What did I? What? Are you? Why? Oh! What's this? Just all in the wall. Cracked floors. That's obviously just. Okay, is this the one? I, okay. Oh, I guess there was no right solution. It was just. Oh! You're back. Okay, th this time I won't. I'll just leave you alone. Respect your space. Okay, so I, th I think on this is honestly... You, there's no proper solution to it. You just gotta fall. Ring. Hello. This is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Wait. Do not tell me. Is it butterscotch? Yes, I, I love butterscotch. Hehehe. <laughs> I had a feeling. When humans fall down here, strangely, I... I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt... like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. Click. I really do love butterscotch. It's like one of my favorite hard candies. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient. By the way... Yeah, um... I'm not one to turn down food unless I can't stand it. Four out of... Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Alright. Oh. Okay. Wimsome approached meekly. Oh, well, I think I almost murdered a Wimsome. That would've been pretty bad. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Um. Please do not step on the lead. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to go on... Oh, hello? New person? Mold small, block the way. Mold small, oh. Let's flirt with it. You wiggle your hips. Mold small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Slime sounds. Yeah! Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Um. I played a lot of. Wait, instantly. Let's check it out. Mold Ball. Attack 6, 0 defense. Stereotypical. Stereotypical, curvaceously attractive, but no brains. Oh, okay. So. No! Mold Small. <laughs> you jerk. Oh, but I got a gold. Mm. Alright then. Oh. They did it! I feel really good about that. Okay. Three rocks. Three out of four rocks. Um, oh, I missed. Mold small blocks boy. Yeah, I'll just spare you. We already flirted with your friend. I, I want to be a... I want to be a one mold small man. Alright. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? So I'm assuming you're that fourth rock that didn't recommend being pushed hmm so you're asking me to move over okay just for you pumpkin uh-huh uh, that, that that wasn't far enough could you move over a bit more hmm you want me to move some more alrighty how's this uh, a, a little better hmm that was the wrong direction hmm okay I think I got it <gasps> oh, gee was that helpful yeah! Thanks! Oh! Uh, oh! Um... Oh! 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 Froggets! You think the... Compliment... The froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Meow. Okay, frogs don't go meow. Uh oh! Got it. Okay, well I can spare one of them. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Ribbit, ribbit, blushes deeply. Ribbit. Oh. Oh. it seems reluctant to fight you. Bye, Froggit. You're fine. Hey, buddy. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Thanks. Aren't things just easier when you ask? I know, I said that all wrong, but... Whew. Is that a mouse hole? Oh, it squeaks! <laughs> knowing that the mouse one day... <laughs> knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Great. Determination filled. The cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Well, if I can be f so filled with determination, I'm sure the mouse can be too. Hello? Oh, it's sleeping! Hmm. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly pretending to sleep. Boo boo with force? No? I, I can't walk around? I guess I'm gonna have to move with it with force then. It just seems really rude. Ooh, I'm sorry. Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Move it with force? Ooh, naps to blow. Na oh, right. Uh, my friend pointed this out a while ago. We were talking about uh, this guy because I like his song. Uh, nap, stab, look. That's weird. I like naps to blow better though. All right, naps to blow. Let's cheer him on. You look kind of sad. You gave naps to blow a patient smile. Heh. <laughs> oh, don't cry. We can be friends. Oh, no, oh, what? It looks just a little bit better. Come on, let's keep cheering him on. You told Naps to look a little joke. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Take your time, buddy. Naps to look wants to show you something. Let me try. Uh, oh, oh, I call it Dapper Blook. Hey. Do you like it? I do. You you look fantastic. Oh gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody here. I see he dropped a tear right before uh, we left the battle screen. Did I upset him some more? 
I usually come here to the ruins because nobody's around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Okay, what's up here? Oh, look, another foggit. What's out here? Spider bakes it. All proceeds go to real spider. Ew. Well, I need items, so... These seven gold in the web? Sure. Some spiders crawled down and gave me a donut. Donuts! Woo! I had just enough to afford a, a donut made by spiders. Alright. Did you miss it? Spiders bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders. Of spiders. Oh! For spiders. By spiders. For spiders. Of spiders. Okay, I don't think I'm eating this anymore. Ribbit. Ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. I, I'm gonna try and be nice. I keep pressing X too much. It ruins the fun. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I only see a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Oh! Veg toy came out of the earth. Act. Wow, Veg toy. You know, you showing up and I, me being hungry. You pat your stomach. Veg toy offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Green? Green? Oh, I missed. You pat your stomach. Veg toy offers a healthy meal. I missed the greens the first. Ah! I got the greens. Vegetoid cackles softly. Thanks, Vegetoid. You fed me. You're a great friend. Ribbit, ribbit. I may... I have heard you're quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now, monsters well a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? That's very helpful. It's rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if the name their name isn't yellow. Ring! Hooray! Hello. I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably lots of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday, you might see something you really like. And you, you want to leave room in your pockets for just that. All right. Uh, there is just one switch. Okay, I guess we'll do this systematically. <laughs> Oh, sweet, an item. That is not an item. Oh, it's just Vegetoid. Are you going to feed me again? Yeah, he's just going to feed me. Eat my greens. Ah, woo. Ah. All right. Oh, let's talk to you for a moment. Plants can't talk to him. Oh. Now I feel bad. Woo. It smells like steamed carrots and peas. Those sound good, too. Oh, I see the solution. Alright. Let's not do the solution quite yet. Let's check what, what's in all the rooms. What's this? You found a faded ribbon. Faded ribbon. Oh, there's an info button. Faded ribbon. Armor defense 3. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. Uh huh? You equip the ribbon. Are you a boy or a girl? My thumbnail will tell you. You'll, you'll see it. We heavily believe main character. My gosp crawled up close. My gosp. Hey, buddy. I don't care. Oh. I'm I should have mercyed Mold Small. La la la. Just be yourself. Oh. Oh. Okay. My gosp isn't such a bad guy. He just wants to be happy. Oh look! It snaps to look! I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait. Ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. Nap naps to book! No! Um, pretty sure he's fine. I mean, technically he is already dead. Alright, there's the switch. Let's go into the last two holes. There's nothing in this one. Oh, another 
Vegetoid? Vegetoid came out of the earth. Feed me! You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. You know I will, Vegetoid. Ah. I can dodge all the falling carrots. Don't tell the, uh, king carrot. I think he'll get upset with me if I ate his minions. Oh, what is this? A little toy? It's a switch. No, that's a bad idea. The far door is not an accident. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Okay. Okay. I get it. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Alright, well, process of elimination there. Because there's a switch by every pillar. You hear a clinking sound. <gasps> pair of locks decide to pick on you. Don't pick on. Finally, someone gets it. Please don't pick on me. Well, if you're gonna be a bully, I'm... Don't pick on. What an eyesore... Oh, rude. You know, I was just trying to be nice to you. No, I'm not gonna beat you guys up. That's just rude. As you can tell, I am going the pacifist route. Because I talked about it with the guy who did the thumbnail artwork. And it just seems right. If you can read this, press the red switch. Well, that's out in the open. So, hooray! <gasps> Vegetoid came out of the earth. Alright, let's uh, talk to Vegetoid. Legion! We are Legion! Plants can't talk to me. Now. Alright, I guess we just have to talk to Vegetoid about dinner. Obey the Overmind. Ah! Woo! Ow! Vegetoid. Nothing like a lo- oh. Yeah. So I guess, uh, Mygos likes being alone. What happens if you encounter two Mygos? It's a switch. Press it. Yes. You hear a clicking sound. Okay, so what's the solution here? Wait, if you can read this, press the green switch. Is this the one? Ah! Okay. Mm, not angry. I'm okay. That wasn't the green switch. I, can, I understand that now. But shouldn't the rooms just run into each other? Unless we're going down. It's hard to, uh put that on a two-dimensional scale but we what if we went down mm, cha 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 mm, cha 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 you're great all right goodbye my ghost <laughs> old small okay um, up looks menacing so let, what's this way oh frog it ribbit ribbit just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidating to talk to her, Ribbit. I could tell. Oh? You found the toy knife. Oh. Is that the world I get to explore? That's great. Toy knife. Weapon at three. Made of plastic. A rarity nowadays. Alright. Uh, equip the toy knife. Just in case I I'm required to fight something. I guess there's a good reason for it now, huh? Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. You've been gone for so long, Mom! Oh, did you just try and call me? You like calling people by trees? How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? I got, uh, I got beat up by a vegetable. I should not have left you all alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Er... Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Tree! Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. That kind of makes me sad. I like trees with, you know, lots of leaves. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Right. Um, hooray! Do you smell that? 
I smell nothing. Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail snail pie for tonight. Uh -huh. So I guess I'm gonna have to learn how to eat snails. I have another surprise for you this way. This is it. Oh. Uh -huh. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Alright. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Oh, she must have been alone for so long. A box of kid shoes and a disparity of sizes. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Well, at least you have something to play with. Oh, what's this? A sign-on room? A room, room under renovations. It's you! You have seen this type of plant for before, but do not know its name. Inside the drawers are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Cool. Now I can draw on the walls. What's this? It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Sure. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she she was feeling bonely? Great! Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundere of plants. You have a pretty wide variety, like, wide vocabulary for a kid. You peek in sky. It's scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Oh! It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open the middle. Typha, a plant of... A group of wetland flowers with a... With brown oblong seed pods. More... Known more commonly as water sausage. I learned something today. Is that what it is? Are you a water sausage? Oh! It's a water sausage! <laughs> Hooray. Alright, let's go see what's happening in the kitchen. Ooh, a red flower. Passed so much. Oh, I guess I can't look at the red flower. What's happening in the kitchen? Oh, I guess she solved it. Hello there, little one. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap? Oh yeah, sure. I'll go take a nap. I mean, it's been a pretty rough day for uh, Karen over here. Still not sure. Oh, can't go to sleep without turning off the light. Oh. Just jump in face for- oh. oh! You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh. I don't like it. I don't like it. My family does that sometimes where when I'm gone and I come home there's food in my room. The problem with that is our dog is just always hungry for, you know, food that isn't her own. So she'll always come in the room and eat it. Like one time my parents brought me a cinnamon bun. And I just get a text message of, we bought you a cinnamon bun, but Bianca ate it. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I'm, I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. Do I know how to read? I do know how to read. That is a stupid question I asked. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may, has come, to, this may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? When can I go home and no nothing? Nothing. Yeah. She's been alone for so long, hasn't she? The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. It's a history book. There's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of fur further... Uh -huh. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named... Home. <laughs> as great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. Alright. Let's see what's in the uh, kitchen. It's really small. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Okay, 
Okay, there's white, some white fur stuck in the drain. Probably gonna have to work on fixing that. There are... Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Oh, pie! The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Scary pie. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Magic! Alright, um... Let's go down the stairs. I don't want to break mom's heart just yet. These books are warm. They must have been read many times. Ooh, what a change. I think you should play upstairs instead. You know, maybe you're right. Let's go play with those cool toys we weren't very interested in. Look at these cool toys! They don't interest you at all. <laughs> Uh, what a cutesy game. I guess there's nothing left to do other than break Goat Mom's heart. <laughs> Goat Mom. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Sna- Oh. How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails talk? Really? Slowly? Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. Yeah, that's really interesting. Bother me. Ah, do you have another fact? I'm. I guess we gotta leave at some point. We, I wouldn't be good at this if I didn't push forward. I have some. I have to do something. Stay here. Oh, okay. It seems like the right size for Torio. There's table for three. Oh, look at little chairs. This is my chair. This is my chair. They look a little too big for the chair. Hmm. Fire stuff. The, the, <laughs> the ends of tools have been filed down to make them safer. Where do you think she went? Oh, God, the music's so nice. I don't even know. Like, I might have to scrap this entire thing. Alright, this is the renovation room. I might have to scrap the entire thing if you can't hear the music. She's not here. And that'll probably just give me the same thing. This is a big bed. Definitely bigger than a twin size. That is true. A bucket? Just a regular old bucket. Of, of, of snails. Tori almost like her snails. Did she go in my room? No. I have a lot of toys be happy. I think Toriel would be a good mother. The atmosphere got really heavy all of a sudden. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the ends of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. So the froggets didn't want to leave. They wanted to stay out here, along with those spiders, I'm guessing. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. I'll be a good child and go upstairs. But I need to leave. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die- oh! You naive child, if you leave the runes, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? I do understand, but... Maybe when I beat the game, I'll come back and start a new game, and just sit here, forever with Toriel. Do not try and stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Not really, but... Hmm. <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Toriel prepares a magical attack. 
tried to think of something to say again, but... Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to the situation. Oh! Okay. Ah. Toriel looks through you. Ooh. I was looking at her face. I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a little upset right now. Toriel looks through you. Ah. Woo. Oh, I came back. I almost acting aloof. I don't know what that means, good and proper, but spare. So many does. Oh. Ooh. Ow. Toriel looks through you. Question mark. Oh man, I'm gonna get hit on this. Uh, oh. Oh. Whew. Just a little bit of forethought there. What are you doing? I'm not gonna fight you. Does it? Seem Ow. It just doesn't seem right. Toriel takes a deep breath. Attack or run away. That's the exact opposite of what you... Did she just stop her attack prematurely? Toriel is acting aloof. What are you proving this way? I learned from you. I won't... I won't fight you. That's not right. You gave me a pie! That's like the quickest way to my heart. I can leave. No! Let's just hug it out! Oh! Toriel prepares for a magical attack. Spare. Stop it. Oh! oh. Where are you going, attack? You're not, you're not fighting me either. No. No. Man, this is hard. <laughs> like, not as in like, this is like difficult hard, I mean this is hard to deal with. I, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to be alone in a place like this. I just, I don't think I can handle it. Toriel is acting aloof. I know you want to go home, but... Ironically, okay, I guess we still can't talk. But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know you would. You've been so nice to me ever since I fell down. I mean, you saved me from that asshole flower who tried to murder me. Well, he would have got away with it too if it wasn't for you. Just the awkward silence. Just... I know we do not have much, but I have, we have plants, we have toys, we have food, we have books. I could learn to live this life. We could have a good life here. We could. Why are you making this so difficult? Because this is difficult. This isn't an easy solution. Please, go upstairs. The easy way out would have been just to kill you. Standing in my way and just gotten rid of you. That would have been the easy way. <laughs> we'll just be here together in this battle forever. No. It's not pathetic. You, you gave your best effort. You're stubborn. You're not stubborn. I'm the stubborn one. In all reality, if I was in this situation, I would not, I would not be trying to get through. I would just stay here. She's kind, she's sweet. Heck, there's a lot of shoes. I mean, if you know, if I, if you know me, you know that I don't get a lot of shoes often, not because I can't afford it, or it's just because I don't want to get shoes. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped here. No, I, I wouldn't. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. There's so much to do, though. 
I can go poke the spikes. I can play with the froggets. Uh, there's spiders. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Oh. If you truly want to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. Hope for you to understand. Goodbye, my child. Heart hurts. How long have we been in here? I can't tell. I'm dying though. I have two health. Alright, well, I guess I gotta hope for the best. I have monster candy. I guess I could eat that. This long corridor is just full of just my thoughts about how much of an asshole I am. Just abandoning her like that clever very clever you think you're really smart don't you, you fucking suck I hate you in this world it's kill or be killed so you were able to play by your own rules you spared the life of a single person he 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 I bet you're feeling really great no I feel like shit you didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? I see one in front of me. You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. What an asshole. Monarch. Well, I am known as Prince Max after all. So, Toby Fox, Undertale. Yes, I get it. It's so dark. Oh, it's snow. I don't see a lot of snow, so this is kind of pleasant. It's not a lot of cheese, though. Stick. Okay, now it just got creepy. I have no time. Oh, jeez. I saw that. Okay. Is this actually a horror game in secret? Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Am I gonna... <laughs> what? <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyway, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. Are you gonna kill me? But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. You're lazy. I like you. Or maybe you just... Empathetic? I think that's the word. Just You just don't care about anything. So far. Now, my brother Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. 
Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go on through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Oh, hey, you're right. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped... Yeah, that is a pretty convenient lamp. Sup, bro? <laughs> you know what's up, brother? <laughs> it's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I, I know about Sands and Papyrus. I watched... Ah. Uh, there's source filmmaker things going around. Just, they're just everywhere. You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. You wanna look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Look at that little, little sexy body! Mm. Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend! Question mark. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning! Hmm. <laughs> Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and boondoggle! Boondoggle? You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton? Okay. Alright. Sans! Come on. You're smiling. I am, and I hate it! You're a skeleton. You have no lips to frown with. Sigh. <laughs> I said sigh. I'm just gonna assume he said sigh. <laughs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow. Sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> Uh, I hope I, I hope these stay as fresh as they seem. Uh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Heh. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh, you're not gonna come back for a triple take of heh. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. That was fun. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. A conveniently shaped lamp. Yep. Rock? Oh, can't check rock. Check this. This is pretty unique. Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. That That's the wrong way. Oh, a safe station. I'm reaching quite a bit. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Save. Snowden Box Road. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. What's up here? Did I just get into a fight as I left the area? It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yeah. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. Send the line back out. Alright. Could we get into a fight here? Or, you know what? No. I'm gonna... I'm gonna end this here. Like, just flat off. This is where this episode's gonna be over. It's long, I know, but hey. 
We've done streams that have been nine hours. And as a, you know, Max of the Zephyr Rose, I say, you know, think about becoming a Knight of the Rose. Hit that subscribe button.